Okay, it seems like everybody's lying about Star Wars Outlaws these days. Whether it comes down to streamers or social media presenters, everyone's putting out a narrative about how great Star Wars Outlaw is. And I think this is something to be expected, especially when you have big backers from Disney, Lucasfilms, up to Ubisoft that all have something riding on the success of this game, especially Lucasfilm after the massive failure of multiple Star Wars platforms that have come out from the company recently. They need a win and Star Wars Outlaws might be that win for them. And so you're gonna see the bot accounts that once supported the Acolyte come out and support this game the same way. Putting out that fake narrative that this game is excellent, it's good, it's driving the audience attention and it's building up a hype for this game that we've never seen before when in actuality, it's just a comedy of errors to the people that actually are playing this game and seeing this game in all of its bland glory. And that's what I'm seeing from clips of this game. It just looks like a hot mess of bugs, patches that need to be put into the game, clipping through the, the entire levels and just non-responsive AI combat situations. And this is something we've been seeing online since the game keys have been given out to a lot of game players and streamers to actually play the game for the past few days. We've been getting these errors, these patches, these clipping glitches, Everything is being shown and everyone is talking about it. And I think that's what's happening with people responding to a lot of the re streaming reviews about Star Wars Outlaws. About this terrible game clipping and glitches that have inundated the experience for a lot of people that are playing this game. And I think that's the response that we're seeing from a lot of the streamers that have gotten these early game keys. Where the game is just non-functional in a lot of parts and uninteresting and not really the game they were hoping for. The open patches of this game that were supposed to be interesting and vast are just empty and don't feel like it has a soul and that is the thing that we're seeing bubble up in the reviews themselves where people are giving it a high score like a 7 or 8 while the review itself sounds like a 4 or 5 because the game is just not that fun or interesting to actually play and I think that's the thing that a lot of people are noticing about Star Wars Outlaws and just the overall descriptions from reviewers nowadays that have been given this Ubisoft benefit and I think we have to understand these benefits are used as persuasion techniques from these large AAA developers. I think we know this as gamers. Usually we know that's the case. But I think we've never seen an effort so strong for a game. Because so much was riding on it. Like I told you before. The Acolyte was one of the Star Wars properties. That was supposed to be a big success for the company. Now it's a $200 million failure. And that is proceeding after multiple failures. Within the Star Wars universe. So they need a win. And I think this is Lucasfilm putting in their effort. Along with Ubisoft and Disney backing them trying to have a win for the game itself and I think that's why we have this massive support from Ubisoft that is trying to make this a big success for the company and I think they have all the support in the world and I think it's going to be a failure for them because for the simple fact they made a terrible game you can't make a terrible game and expect to get a good response and I think a lot of the things that are happening in Ubisoft are self-inflicted because they've hired a new staff of people that don't have the talent anymore to produce good games they hired people based on their political progressive activism rather than their skill set and willingness to actually make the sacrifices to actually produce a high quality game that's not what we're seeing here with Star Wars Outlaws. We see a game that is factured, broken, doesn't know what it wants to do, it has so much bugs and glitches and clipping that it just doesn't feel like a finished game. Of course, this happens to a lot of products that are happening within the modern day video gaming industry today where we do get these unfinished products that just don't feel like a full game. And I think Star Wars Outlaws is just one of many games that are like that and I think it suffers even more so because it doesn't have the, the content, the character the design or even the passion of someone that likes Star Wars creating a Star Wars game this doesn't feel like a passionate Star Wars game it feels like someone just mapped over a Star Wars universe into a sci-fi world that they already had in mind and I think that's what we're getting with this game it just doesn't feel like it really is 
a, a quality game in general. And I think that's the response that people are having with some of the reviews that are coming out where it is getting more positive reviews than the games that we think are the games of the year. We see the Star Wars Outlaws getting a 4.0 while Screen Rant gives Black Myth Wukong a 3.0, a game that is getting considerable gameplay from a large amount of fan base, over 2.4 million players a day are playing this game and saying resoundingly in the opposite direction this is the game of the year but that is not the priority of these developers anymore that is not the priority of these game reviewers they're trying to support anyone that is within their own political ideology and i think ubisoft is ensnared in this political activist ideology so any game that they put out is obviously going to get a 4.0 and you can see that with star wars outlaws where this is the biasness of the video gaming industry in display right in front of the faces of the fans and i think this is a situation that people are getting tired of where we're looking at some of these reviews where people are saying oh the game was not that great but it was interesting it was good it had all the things i like only things i didn't like about it is just it was terrible combat story progression everything was boring and that is the type of reviews we're getting with star wars outlaws where people are giving this a high score but they're saying it's a terrible game within their review and i think that is just their way of working around the restrictions of actually getting a early access copy of this game where they're giving it a high score but they're equally trashing the game within the reviews that they're putting out there and i think this is a situation people are tired of seeing in the video gaming industry where we have these biases baked into every large social media gaming review site that's out there right now where they're just there to actually represent the, the developers now they're not there to be the face of the gamers and i think it's always been like that to some extent to to get the early access to these big name developers but i think even more so now where you can't even believe anything these reviewers are saying anymore because they're so enamored and so in line with the social ideology that is associated with the game developers that they're willing to stretch those lies even when it comes to the games that are blatantly obviously terrible at their core and i think that is the situation that we're seeing with star wars outlaws where we're seeing a terrible game be supported while we're seeing the opposite happen with black myth wukong where black myth wukong is getting review bomb because it's not following those ideologies that are connected to the western games development sphere if you're not connected to this games development sphere that's focused on political activism it doesn't matter how good your game is it's going to be attacked and even though it's a successful game that is being praised they're still going to attack your game and that's what's happening with black myth wukong it's still being attacked till this day you can see headlines coming out attacking black myth wukong for being all the racist misogynistic homophobic things in the world having toxic workplace it's being a accused of everything still because it's not in line with the ideology that is being set in the western video gaming sphere and that's the opposite of what we're seeing with star wars outlaws where it's being supported even though it's just a terrible game nobody wants to play and i think that's the situation that is stirring up a divide within the video gaming industry because what we're seeing being described about a game that is supposed to be one of the games of the year at least to some of these reviewers that are talking about star wars outlaws a game that that has major clipping issues that has an empty storyline that has a uh, terrible rendered animations that has broken gameplay mechanics and physics this is supposed to be a top tier game that's better than black myth wukong by some people's standards and we're supposed to take them serious on other reviews when they can't even give us the honest bold facts about a terrible game that just doesn't work but tell me what you think about this situation. Everybody's lying about Star Wars Outlaws. It seems to be the trend nowadays when it comes to producing content on the internet. You got to root for who pays you. And I think that's what's happening with Star Wars Outlaws right now. A lot of people are getting paid to, to support this game. And it's blatant and obvious to see from all the reviews and a lot of the people saying this is oh such a great game and obviously if you look at some honest streamers playthrough of it you quickly see this is just a terrible game but you leave your comments tell me what you think like comment share subscribe this is wagner knows why catch you next time